Uh, welcome to our Pittsburgh Weiss Schwartz Review Starlight set review. Um, we're going to try our hardest to not completely rip off top tier tiers, but um, we really wanted to do something like this for English because the English metagame doesn't really have sort of a comprehensive set review, including the trial deck stuff, since that stuff is more relevant than ever uh, these days with some of these new sets. So, uh, I'm Carmen, and we got... I'm Andy. What's up? And I'm Brian. All right. So uh, we're just going to get right into it. We're going to start with the trial deck. So let's move to uh, Futaba here. And Andy, it's all you. All right. So Stage of Fate, Futaba, Izarugi. So do, are you just going to read the whole card and then... Yeah, I mean, sure. Yeah. Do whatever you want. Or say all right, cool. Does. So frontal, frontal 500 assist and... When you play a Climax, choose one of your characters, they get a thousand power. Austin is married life. Mm -hmm. Futaba is married life. Yeah. Uh, it's a Futaba, which is, like, relevant. Uh, it's good with the Shimakaze combo at mm -hmm. one because it only gets to seven. And you need to get reverses to do anything because that's what Bushiro does with any new <laughs> set. Um... Thousand power. I don't know. It's Austin is married life. Like, it's not the best buff, like profile, but uh, I think it's like a good, good enough, you know. And it's yellow, yeah. and it's Futaba. Like, I mean, it's something. I mean, this set doesn't have a lot of ways to pump from the back row, at least not till level two when you hit your level assists. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, Aus probably Austin worth is, running. Yeah, Austin is married life is never, never a bad card. It's always always pretty good, especially like when you said the uh, Carmen the when the level one combo needs a reverse, the extra power buff is definitely uh, definitely useful there. So that gets you to what eight five. That's yeah. Which if is you get, if you give it a thousand, you know. Yeah, which Barring is usually pl what? plenty at level one, I'd imagine. Like what even beats that right now? Like the uh, the Chisada walls, like and like I guess standby walls, like. That's about hey, the only thing you can't. Yeah, all, almost nothing. And if you try field, you'll get one. They can't have three backups. And well, you know, <laughs> unless they're Sal. So, I don't know. Well, what do you think on this one, Andy? Um, I think it's probably a B. It's definitely playable. Yeah, that's pretty good. Where, that's where I was gonna go. It's yeah, like, I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah, solid B tier card. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. Next card. Brian, you're up. All right. So here we have the Stage of Fate Kaoruko. Uh, when this card's put into the waiting room from the stage, you can pay the cost. Uh, pay one clock from the top of the deck. If you do look at three cards from the top of your deck, choose a character from among them, show it to your opponent, put it in your hand, and discard the rest. So this card does plus, which I guess is the benefit to it. Yeah, it, mill, it mills too. It, it does something mill, yeah. This set kind of lacks. You think it lacks mill? I, I think, I think, a, set... I think a little bit if you're not playing the Claudines. I know when I was brewing, I was like... I, you haven't played much of the quote-unquote meta Trying to find list. some yellow cards to uh, mill with. You haven't played much of the like meta list, right? Like the, uh, there's a lot of cards that mill, I think. Like the um, that 1-0, like Mahiru... That's really good. Mills for two on play. The the changer for the uh, Kauruko finisher mills on play. Oh, does it? Yeah. What what I like about this card is that it's it is like a Ricky effect, which is useful. Uh, just to level yourself up, like, and it's not worthless in the late game. Like that's the problem with a lot of the Ricky effects, where you can only grab a level one, and if your level one doesn't like do some other sort of tech thing. Uh, it's kind of like dead, but this can just grab a character and mill yeah. state, which isn't bad. It does have to go to the waiting room, though. It's not on play, so like... Right. It is know. on death, which is definitely the downside to the card. Yeah. But I, I I don't know. I feel like I would generally want to run a more t the, the more typical Ricky over this in a normal list, just to get my level 1 combo off. Well, the typical Ricky in this deck is broken. I think it's one of the best well, Rickies yeah. they've printed in a long time. Or salvage Rickies, rather. It's not a search. But, yeah, I don't know. Uh, 
good enough for a rating here? I think so. I think it's like definitely definitely good, definitely worth playing if you're looking for extra mill for your deck. I think it's like a C. Ricky type of thing. Uh, there's just so much other mill. I have a hard time like choosing this over the other zero. I don't know. The zero lineup in the Kalruko deck feels so tight because you have to have so many Kalrukos and Futavas to like ditch later. And this mm -hmm. one's just not as good as the other ones. Like, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna slap it with the C. I think it's a C. Uh, I'm I'm gonna give it a solid B. Uh, just due to the fact that it's the the, the fact that it is uh, on death really hinders the card for me. I think. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a solid B also. I'm the outlier here. Card. Okay. All right. Next card. All right. We got Sword Fight Challenge Futaba. Uh, a zero to 2,500. When it attacks, reveal a top card. If it's a review, it gets 2,000 power. Uh, I hate this card for profile. I, I really don't like... I don't like these condition, like, over 4K on play things. Uh, especially... The only good thing about this one, compared to a lot of them, is that if for some reason it does lift, you can do it again. Mm -hmm. Um, and there is, like, a lot of crazy scry in this uh like top check scry and surveil and review so i guess you could get some value out of it and it is a futava but that's the that's the only good thing about it i think yeah. why would you play this over a typical 4k oversize because deck? you could play a normal 4k just as strong because it's a Futaba and it doesn't have to be in the center lane. That's like the only mm -hmm. argument. But even like the generic like two stock 4Ks. Yeah. Like. Mm. So why would I ever play this over it? Other than it says Futaba in its name. It gets to 45. Yeah, it gets to 45. It doesn't even always get to 45. It, it gets does to 45. if you have giraffe. Of the time. If, you have, <laughs> if you have giraffe, you know. <laughs> Oh, you just wait till we get to giraffe. I have some oh. words to say about that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, I don't know. This again, I think this is like I don't think it's. It might be. What would we say? D was like really bad. This is like D is, C, D is D, bad. D is bad. I'm, I'm gonna hit it with like the C minus. I think you could play this card in like a budget build, but like all the zero lines are. There's only like two, one, one or two double rares that you might play at zero. And if you have, I, I think it's pretty bad. If you have this card in your deck, even if you're a budget player, just crack a couple more packs and take anything. I'm, I'm gonna, I, I can see where you guys are coming from. I don't know. I value the Futaba more, but that's, I guess just, that's just all right. The Futaba, yeah. Hmm. All right. Next, you're up, Andy. Natural born lady, Kauruko Hanayagi. So, at all, you cannot use auto encore until end of turn, which includes the pay three roll. Decent, it's just a generic card. Yeah, just a 3,500. Encoring too much at level zero anyway, so I think it's decent. But again, I think just using a generic two stock 4K. Yeah. There's so many probably better in this trial deck, or like just things that power pump. The, zero. There really are, yeah. yeah. In general, like you have that one in the middle lane that gets to 4K with two souls. You have the. There's so Maya. many stock ones, it's... and then also the ones that mill. And if, like, say you are playing the top check engine, your mills are basically even more likely to be the 4500s, your Claudines. Mm hmm. So yeah, I don't know. This is this one's probably bad, just because there's, I mean, like well, as it, a card, it is a it is a Kauruko. It is a Kauruko. Mm. So the finisher, the finisher yeah. needs you to discard Kaurukos and Futabas, right? Yeah, it's pay one That's pitch the... a Kauruko for Taba from your hand. Yeah, so I mean that makes it more playable. I mean, I think it's solid. It's just other cards you could run i mean the drawback is like worthless doesn't matter you don't encore things at zero unless like you very skillfully trigger three climaxes um right 
Oh, yeah. I think it's like a C probably. Yeah, it's just a just a boring thirty five hundred beater. Yeah, it's like playable. It's yellow. It's covered. Mm. That's it. That's All it. Agreed. Next. All right. We have a stage for us only, Nana. She's a one one twenty five hundred backup. That's mm. it. <laughs> that that's that's it. I. <laughs> She's got cooking trait. <laughs> I, for the uh cooking uh cooking waifu deck yeah yeah cooking mama playing standard <laughs> uh it's okay i guess it's a 2500 power backup i mean it's on stat line yeah like that's... a yellow 2500 pay one backup it has a soul trigger it does have it a does, soul trigger it does have a soul trigger that's important that's nice i i don't know if there's much more to say about this card I'm gonna I'm gonna slap this one with a big old give it a D minus. Good effort. It passes, but not much yeah. else. I, I think it's I think it's just bad. Yeah, you'd rather be running just a one zero backup most of the time. All right. Yep. Alright, next. Okay, so this card is actually pretty cool. Uh stage of fate, not a diva. When you place a stage from your hand, you put the top card of your clock in your waiting room, so it heals. Pay one, pitch one. When it attacks, gets 2,500 power and plus one soul. So this card, I like running this card as a one of in the uh, Karuko deck because say you, it's like one of the best things to field uh, in your third lane if you need to reverse uh, because it gets big and it gets an extra soul, so it has a chance to like double swing. Because the Kaorukos, if you play two Kaorukos, they only get burned two because they don't give it to themselves. So this would right. be a, like, three soul, 11k that would on cancel burn for two twice. Right, it, it has a higher chance of canceling for the Kaoruko effect. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. if you don't need a lot of power in your third lane, you want to play that Futaba because she has the ping on attack. And, like, the Kaorukos can go off on the ping. Because it's any time the card deals damage, it'll the effect will go off. Um, and you can even like I think you can choose to stack it. Like you can have it go go off once, and then when you attack, it, you can choose to have it go off a second time. Um, I don't know if that's exactly how it works. I have to double check the reading on the card, but it's just a solid like you know third lane option for the meta deck. It's yellow. Not a Kaoruko for Taba, but it, and it heals you. It heals you. It's like the only heal. Because all the Kaorukos bounce, the Mahirus dig, and the Futaba draws three. Or, uh, no, it's draw two, ditch one. Or either that or it's look at three. Functionally the same. Uh, well, you know, one's better. Look at three is better. So is is this the only decent heal that Ribu has access to? In the meta list, at least? In or? yellow. In okay. Case, I, I think, like, this is... I'd consider this like probably the best heal, but I mean, again, it's just a one of. You like yeah. search it if you know you're gonna have to, you know, you're not gonna get to triple Kaoruko. You can't bounce their whole field. You're gonna have to reverse something big. You hold on to it or you search it. I'm a big fan of cards like with that bottom effect in general, where you can start increasing their soul at level three. Because like, even if you're not going for the cancel burn, right, you can always just. Like pump your soul and side attack. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Ping them for one. Or so that's out. always handy. Pay out pay climax. Out. Cl yeah. Pay, pay out climaxes. I mean, you're level three. You're probably not trying to pay out anything, but it depends. I've I've been in those situations sometimes, like end of deck, going for finisher in the second deck. That's like or third deck. That's like that dream. Like play out yeah, for sure. So, sometimes your opponent's just compressed, and you want to play the long game. And it being able to strategically side attack for one. By pumping her soul mm -hmm. a couple of times and swinging at a level three, and it heals. Yeah, it does. I think this is. I think this is Good an card. A. Uh, I'm gonna give that an A, or and another line. I, I think this. I think in any other set where there's a lot of access to heals in your like meta build, it's probably worse. It's probably like a B or like a B plus in a different set, but because it's yellow. Because it like synergizes with getting the cancel for Kaoruko, uh it's a really good option as like a tech. 
I right, think I, uh, I think I'd give it a, either a B plus or an A, but I, I think it's only a one off. Yeah, yeah. I, th I, th I think I'm with you there. I'm going. Uh, I'm going solid uh, B plus on that. I don't think it's quite an A, just due to the fact that it's the effect is kind of expensive, and it's it doesn't really play into the metadex game plan, or due to the fact that it's not a uh, a or or a yeah. Karaka or a Futaba. Or a Futaba, it's, it's, yeah. But it's definitely a one of. Yeah, but it it seem it seems useful in the uh, in the situations you guys described, for sure. All right, next up, got some red. Andy, it's you. Um, all right, stage of fate, Hikari Kagura. So zero zero fifteen hundred. On play, put a climax from your hand to the waiting room when this card is placed on stage. Do that, and if you do choose a review character in your waiting room, return it to hand. And when your other review character attacks. This card gets plus a thousand power. Just a nice option. I like these cards. Uh, I, th does, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. It does attack for thirty five hundred. Uh, well, well, I mean, like, I don't know. When you're cursed like me, and you have too many climaxes in your hand at zero, and like, I yeah, I, I forget which video I was watching. It might have been one of. Uh, Burn One's videos where Dean was just like, I know people don't like to believe in those games, but like I've I've pulled out so many games where there was just no hope, just from costless ditch like this that helps you exchange. Yeah, I'm I'm generally a big fan of anything that lets you uh, filter climaxes out of your hand when you get completely flooded and screwed over. So I I do like this card. I feel like the the second effect is kind of irrelevant because you. Don't really want to be tri fielding majority of the time at level zero anyway. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's hard to tell. I, I feel like a lot of people just kind of, even when we were at Springfest, like a lot of people just automatically puke three onto the board and go down to like four cards in hand on their second turn, and yeah, when I... you have to respond to that, and you're playing against a deck that doesn't care about reverse. Like, that can be kind of scary, because you're just like, okay, they don't care about reverse, so I should probably answer their board and leave a board, so I'm not eating a ton on my first deck, right? Right. But, mm -hmm. but uh, it's, it's, it's hard to tell these days. I don't know, it is useful. It's like, because normally these cards, I mean, I don't know, people run that one in Bangry, and it's just the, just, it just has the first effect, and it's a 2k, and that's it. And yeah, it, card captor has the same thing. And it's like people run that card and you know, it, I mean, I think you just have, you probably have better options with Revue though. They they have a lot of hand filtering. They have a blue one that is objectively better than this cuz it gets to its higher thing by itself and it mills. Mills Claudine. Too. Yeah, it's another Claudine. Um or no, when it's in the center position it goes to 35. So like it, you don't have to like stagger your attacks or sequence in a possibly suboptimal way. I don't know. This card, this card's like playable. All right, I think it's like a, a C tier. Yeah, C. card. Maybe it's if you're red. playing like a, a a Hikari and Karen deck, maybe you run it. Yeah, I agree. I think it's useful in some scenarios, but not not the best card for for what you want to do with it. Yeah, if you need a red fix, I think this is a good enough climax ditch. All right, next one. All right. So we have the Trial Deck Draw Brainstormer. Uh, also lets you, when you play another review card, look at the top card of your deck. Ooh, it's Giraffe. It's better than Ooh. Giraffe. It's a Brainstormer. Why even, why even play Giraffe when, <laughs> when you, you could just play this? Because Giraffe Mahiru is yellow. Giraffe is yellow. Character. The Giraffe is yellow, yeah. <laughs> this is just better than Giraffe. I mean, if you're if you're a new player and you're looking for a Brainstorm, I mean, draw brainstorms generally do the trick. They rest one, so being able to look at the top card, I I'm not super familiar with review. Does review care a lot about the top card of the deck? Yeah, yeah, they have a lot of top check effects. A little bit. They I was talking about it with um. We'll we'll get more into it when we get to the actual standby stuff. But it kind of has like a sort of sal standby thing going on where they can manipulate the top card of their deck to increase their chances of triggering a standby versus playing it. 
Uh, and when you're playing those kind of lists, especially standby, standby has always been like a really good budget strategy. Mm. So this card, and it's red, this card is red, so it plays right into that. The um, standby game plan. Yeah, so it's definitely a thing. I, I, what is the giraffe's second effect? I can't even remember. You can pay two and tap it to search your deck. For a character. Uh, garbage. Yeah. Giraffe yeah. is a guaranteed plus, though. And this oh, frees come up. come on. You have to pay two. <laughs> this does free up space in your deck, though. Like, because it is your, you know, your budget brainstormer that you slowly slot out as you unpack more brainstormers. Of which this I, set I, has a I ton think of. Even if, um, I think even if you want just, like, a continuous, like, top check effect, though, it could be worth running as, like, a secondary brainstormer. Yeah. I mean, if you don't care about the For search sure. effect. Juna or next to whatever other back row card you have. You don't care about yellow. Pay two searches do help you like pay out stuff, but again, like do you really want to believe in that? No. Um I don't believe in that. Alright. Yeah, I think this is a C. I mean I'm I'm gonna give it a B. It's de it's definitely playable. I mean it's not the best card for the set, but I mean it does the trick as a brainstormer. I think it's a I think it's a solid C. Like it's probably the best top check, continuous top check effect. In the set. Loses a lot of points for being a Mahiru IMO. If it was any other character, it'd be better. All right. We hate Mahiru. Next one. All right. Natural Stage Girl. Hikari Kagura. Discount Homura. Uh, during your turn, this card gets 1,000 power. So it's 4K. And it's a level 1 reverser. Um... I don't know. That's pretty good. Uh, it's 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 pretty good with the combo in the trial deck. Uh, which oh, you're right. First. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think doesn't the other combo need reverse too, and it gives it to your other review characters. I mean, we'll get to that, but I I mean, still as it is, because it synergizes so well with the trial deck combo. Mm -hmm. I think this card is, like, really good, especially for new players, like, hopping into the game. Like, I think Revy is such a good set for new players to grab and, like, sort of throw stuff in. Because, like, it's got all the... It's ticking all the boxes, right? Like, the trial deck is pretty strong by itself. The mm. cards in the trial deck work really well with the cards in the booster packs. The cards in the booster packs have, like, generally high card quality. And, like, they have cards that are splashable, like those... All the two soul center lane beaters you can throw in like base clan any deck because there's enough yellow in the trial deck, really. And you just sort of splash them in. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This, I think this card, this card's pretty good. I mean, it's, it's just a level one reverser. Can't go wrong with the suicider. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the level one level reversers. It's a 4K on uh, your turn two, so if you get to one first, you don't have to feel bad about playing these out. Because you won't lose to, like... I don't know. I've definitely swung, like, a Chica into an oversize after I've hit my opponent to one and gotten back up before because I was being an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like, of course, their character also reverses, right? But then there's not a Chica on the board that they have to Right, but with. yeah, Chica's losing to a level zero, so... Yeah. Mm. So... Yeah, I don't know. I think this is... I think this card is fine. I'm gonna give it a... Give it a B. Maybe a B minus. As... Yeah, this card a B. It's red. I'm I'm gonna give it an A minus. I think I think it's definitely more on the good side. It's definitely playable. All right. Next awesome. one. Wow, our first climax combo. Oh, uh, our Here first we go. climax combo. <clears throat> all you, Andy. You can pay one, and all of your other characters get on reverse salvage a character. Basically the same card that Gurren Logan has, right? Uh, Gurren Logan has choose two characters, and on reverse they get salvage. Salvage, yeah, it's like the same thing. Except I, th I think it's free in Gurren Logan. Hmm. No, I think it's a pay one. Double boomerang, that's a pay one. No, is it? It combos, with a, stock. It combos with a stock soul, though. What does this get oh, you, 6k? 6k and then you have the married life in the in the trial deck hmm. yeah so at most it gets to seven five that's kind of bad but it doesn't have to reverse itself you can run now right yeah th this card 
this card itself doesn't want to do the reversing. Yeah. It's like with this one card, you can get plus two. Yeah. For one, for with one character and one stock, that's like a plus two potentially. And mm -hmm. you only have to have one of them, which is really, that's really nice for new players too. Like the more I look at the review trial deck, the more I say like, wow, this is like, this kind of really. Actually a pretty good trial deck. It really yeah, helps think... handhold players into the game, I think, a little bit. Like not because the effects are easy but that they don't require a lot of other cards to work with which other mm -hmm. trial decks do well everything synergizes so well like this works really good with that last card the suicider mm -hmm. yeah and this is, this and, like, is definitely one of the uh, the most unique climax combos i've ever seen in a trial deck for sure yeah until we get that you know on reverse draw two pitch one man oh batman, batman. batman ninja here we come also has a, it's also off gate and you get four of this you get four gate when you're a trial deck. I, I do love gate. Love gate. Gate is love. Gate is life. Plus, so, plus, plus. I think it's probably a B tier. I'm going to say the same. Yeah, it's B. You're going to want to upgrade to another combo eventually, probably, but. I mean, for a trial deck good, combo, this is yes, great. De it's definitely playable, yeah. Before we move on, what's the max number of cards you can get off this? So, like, if you field one. On attack, it gives you can get three cards, right? Because you can give it to another one, and then the third one would get. Because you whiff on the first one, your first one gets one, your second one gets two for two stock. It's kind of bad if you do more than one. Yeah, I th I think you just want to shoot for the uh, the play one of them and then plus two with your other two characters majority of the time. Yeah, I I don't think it's ever worth it to play down two of these. Unless you really need three specific cards, but then you're playing a trial deck. Why do you need three specific cards? Mm -hmm. So, all right. Yeah, next card. All right. All right. Is this me? Yep. All right. We have obvious response Mahiru. When this card is placed on the stage from your hand, mill two gets plus X power, where X is equal to the number of review characters among the ones you've milled. So, can get up to 7K. Not. Not the worst level one I've ever seen. It mills. Definitely, uh, it, it mills. It, it does mill. Ah, uh, so I, I don't hate it. I'm sure there are better, uh, better options in the set for a uh, red level one. Extremely better. But I mean, it is a trial deck card, and for a new player, I think it gets the job done. I think the fact that it mills makes it. Considering giving it a D because Mahir is on the card, but it's fine, I guess. <laughs> I'm locking that. Okay, I'll give it. I'll give it a C. It mills. It mills. I, I'm gonna give it a C. I'm gonna give it a C minus. I think it. It does mill. I think that's yeah. that's the only upside, really. If you need an option to mill in red, there are better. One zero seven K. There's a one year one oh five K or one oh six five that unconditional six five that on on climax hit you get to cert, uh salvage pitch. That's the one reason I'm I'm devaluing it. It's cause like that card is just so much better than this card. But, or you just run or you just run the draw brainstormer in red if you want to mill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Alright. Next one. Okay, here we go. So this one this is the Stage of Fate, Karen Ijo. Uh, when this card is placed on the stage from hand, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a review character, you ping one. The pings during main phase are always neat. Uh, and the second effect is really cool. Pay one when it's frontal attacked. You just pop it to your hand. Um, that's, this card's uh, really good. Yeah, that's like so good in this meta where all these finishers need reverse, right? Need reverses, yeah. Like, and it's red. Like, you can splash this in even the meta build. Like, it's say you don't like the Nana, and for some reason you want like a one of option that's like defensive instead of proactive for whatever reason, like in your local meta or whatever. Um, I think this card is great in that slot too. Like, you can reliably play red even at one in the meta build. Uh, just based on like the tech cards you run, I think this card's great. You 
I think it's worth noting too that with all the top check effects, you can make sure that you're going to hit your burn. Yeah, so that, that's true. Like really nice. I really like these burn one finishers, especially when they have, you know, that second effect's really good just to pop it back. This is like the second. Then you can play it again and burn them again with it. Yeah. This is yeah, like... I mean this 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 card is packed in the uh, the trial deck with the brainstormer that lets you top check. Yeah. Yeah. This card is like the second card they've printed that does this sort of like thing on its own and it burns one in main phase, the other one being the overstated monstrosity of the trial deck cost me from set one. It's like a fifteen five on attack and you can't play backups. <laughs> um so the, I think this is like an I it might sound a little crazy, but I think the second effect is like an equivalently disruptive defensive effect whereas the Kasumi was like very aggressive to like basically solidify that you will reverse whatever you attack uh but I think this is like equivalently disruptive as a defensive effect a one the defensive effect I think it's just better and I don't think Revue has a Musashi does uh, it I don't, I don't think so not to my no. knowledge at least not yet. like this is this is probably the Secondary finisher mm. in Revy Starlight, like just on its own. Saying that, yeah, like the best splashable finisher. Uh, yeah, I guess I could see that splashable. You just put it in, it pings one, swings, and then you can always play it the next turn, even if you only have three stock, because you can pop it for one, and then burn them again with it. Burn them again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's loopable. Yeah, I think this card. I think this card's very really good. It's really good, yeah. Um, a. Yeah, I think like A, A plus. It's here. an A for me, yeah. Yeah, it's not quite S, but it's, uh, it's really good on its own. It's definitely very good, yeah. And it's in your trial deck, which you need to buy for your married lives anyway, so. All right, next card. Moving on. The Beret of Promise. Choose one character with Karen and one Hikari in your waiting room. Return them to hand. Discard a card and then choose a character and give them three thousand power. So this is a super niche card. If you're running a Hikari Karen deck, I guess it could be. Yeah, I I don't even like that this is in the trial deck because the trial deck runs like all all the girls. <laughs> it just uh, feels like, and you get two of it. It's like two wasted slots, uh, that aren't gonna be relevant when. I guess like I don't know. It's relevant when your your Karen level three is on the board, but your Karen and Hikari's are your level ones. So right. I mean, I think I mean the Hikari Karen level one that can count as either half of it, which is nice. Yeah. It can either be the Hikari or the Karen you grab, but I mean, if you're playing that event, I don't okay. know. Yeah, but I mean, you're not even really looking for the level one at level two, since this is a two one event. I think it would be better suited to being a one one event that searched for Karen and Hikari that didn't give power, maybe. Yeah, that would be a little bit better. Helps you find your level one, makes it even more consistent. It's like throwing like two two more copies of your level one combo in your trial deck, like effectively. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't know. This I don't like this card. Yeah, I'm slapping it with a D. I think it's near unplayable in this profile, but not quite. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a C minus. Because I mean, if you're playing a Hikari Karen deck, a little bit useful, I guess, but definitely not a fantastic card. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a D. I think just the fact that it's a level two event instead of a level one event really uh really hinders it yeah that kills the card i think level two all right next next oh, is this me again mm -hmm. all right we have what does that even say interest in the exchange student claudine all right if your level's two or higher gets the following ability choose one etude with the exchange student uh, Maya in your hand, put it on the stage in the position that this was on if your level's two or higher. And then it discards to bond for the Maya. Uh, so we have the Maya here. It's a 2-2, 9,000 vanilla. 
I guess it's it's still a trial deck card, so I guess it's okay that you don't have to pay the stock for the level two necessarily. This is the bond in the in this trial deck too. It doesn't have an apple bond. Mm -hmm. This is the bond. I like this though. This is like the Hina. It's yeah, not it's as like good the, as the, the twin Hina. problems and it, it is. Yeah, game. it's not as good, but it's still like you can just play a free nine k. I, I love the twin uh, the twin problems uh, engine for like budget decks, especially in Bang Dream, because everything in Bang Dream that isn't shiny is dirt cheap. That's not Yukina. So mm -hmm. and like this is this is very similar, especially in a trial deck. Like if you get two trial decks, you slam them together. You have this to fill out your level two. You can like, you can contest with soul damage. You'll probably lose board, uh, because they're only nine Ks. Yeah, not having not having the hand on core, like the Bang Dream version. Yeah, the Bang but, Dream version you know, also gets the ten five and has two soul. That is true. Yeah, I I don't know. I think I think two 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 soul cards. Are generally very undervalued. The fact that you can play this for free. You can play it for free. Mm -hmm. They can't anti change it. If you back it up, it's going to live. Yeah. Could live anyway. Mm hmm. Yeah, I before, think. This, but I still think it's pretty decent. I think this is fine. These, these, like, free summon level twos that they've been doing have, like, been undervalued when you look at them, but then when you play them, you're like, oh, no, this is fine. Like, this helps you keep up. Like, you're just, like, when you run these, especially more than just two and two, you're, like, kind of admitting that it's, like, oh, like, my, you know, like, I don't have all the stuff, but I'm going to try to keep up. And I think as long as you view and play the cards, like, in that sort of context, they're they're pretty good. Um, of course, like, you know, the ones in other sets, notably Bang Dream, has, like, the synergy of being blue, and Aya can restand it, and it can't get any change, and there's other reasons to run that one. Right. Mm -hmm. But I think this one, especially in the trial deck, this is this is fine. This is like a, it's like a C+. Plus. Yeah, I think uh, just due to the fact that a lot of decks don't go super heavy on the, uh, the level 2 game plan, running this in a trial deck environment might catch somebody off guard enough to be decent. Mm -hmm. I think I'm with you there on the, uh, I, th I think it's niche. I'm going to give it a C. I'm going to give it B. I think two are pretty good. And the free play is just, I'm a real big fan of these. Child this little actor. combo. Child actor and leading actor trait. I didn't even notice that until now. These secondary traits are well. Oh, mm -hmm. All right, next card. Stage of Fate, my attendo. If you have two other revenue characters, this card gets 2,000 power. So it goes to a 4K. Woo! Oversize! Yeah. Yeah, except this one requires you to try field. I guess you don't have to. You can put two cards in the back row, but you got to slam. You got to slam three cards to get one oversize mm -hmm. at zero, especially in a. Like, I don't want to, like, evaluate every card in the value of like vacuum of the trial deck here but in a trial mm -hmm. deck where you can't plus reliably and you have to slam three cards when this is your only like value card at zero and you don't want to try field because you're not like just like mondo smashing their face in um that's like really bad <laughs> i don't no, i don't think so you throw your brainstormer in the back and then you just have two attackers this gets over a lane, and then whatever else swings direct. I guess. Yeah, I, th I think in the case where you have either this and something else attacking, or like the married life and the brainstormer in the back row, I think it's a decent turn one or turn two play if you have all the cards to back it up. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a fan of these. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't have to be center stage. I guess it's fine. It's like a like a C plus. Simple card. Yeah, I'm going to give it a C. There are better oversizes. There are better oversizes in blue. Um, but this one's fine. B e minus for me. It's yeah. Regardless, it's still an oversize. So. We know you love them. And oh, yeah. Some big. All right. <laughs> Next card. Um, is this my turn? Yep. 
Yeah. Okay. Feelings about Starlight. Gina. 1-1 one, one, if she's in the middle position of your center stage. She's 8,500, and she has Clock Encore. You want a 1-1 one, one beater. This is pretty good. If for some I reason think. you don't want to run the one oh two soul beater and you need blue, I think this is a good sub, especially from the trial deck. But in the middle, eighty five is pretty big. Yeah, I mean and I guess clock it's, on course nice too. I guess it's a standby target if you're playing blue red for some reason. This like if you're more if you're more focused on winning board at level one than pushing soul damage with the uh mm -hmm. what's her name? Utaba, yeah. Utaba. I think it's a very solid option, especially in the standby builds if you want a good standby target. Yeah, I mean, they have the, um... They have literally Silica. Uh, it's 1-1 one, one red. Same, same profile, but this is Clock Encore. And it's blue. I think you could run this in... Like, say you're doing the Claudine Maya top end with, like, standby mid-game. Mm -hmm. uh, especially since I think those are pretty cheap, like the the Maya and uh, Claudine finisher, like compared to the other. Yeah, ones. they're pretty cheap. Like you could you could go that route, and that could be pretty potent. You have like one of these and two of the Karens that are so you have like an eight five two seven five, and you threaten with backups. Well, uh, pretty good. It's with, not like, bad. Yeah. For it, like with one married life, the the nine k. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm gonna give this uh it's definitely niche. Um, but it's good. I'm gonna give it a C plus. I, I think it's I'm gonna I'm give not, it a B. I'm gonna give it a B minus. I think it's somewhere somewhere between niche and playable. I think it has a spot somewhere. Just not exactly sure where that is. Yeah, like I don't I haven't messed with standby as much as I probably should have in this set, because I've been like trying to sort of like zero in on what Calrico build I want to play, so I haven't looked at much else, but I don't know, if you want to play blue at the top end in standby, this is a great option to put up. Mm -hmm. Like, you do, like, three one ones, two of this, and that's five standby targets, and you have a blue fix. Pretty good. That's not bad, yeah. Alright. Alright. So here we have 2-1, uh, level assists, characters in front of it get that character's level times 1,000 worth of power. Uh, when this card's placed on the stage, you can ditch a card, look at four cards from the top of your deck, choose a review character, put it into your hand, discard their west. So it's got the uh, the Akatsuki effect on a level assist body. That is, that's not terrible. Blue. It is blue. Yeah. I, I like that the second effect is on a, they've been getting more liberal with what second effect they put on level assists. Um, Akatsuki's great at any time in the game. Mm -hmm. like Yeah, for sure. Unless you don't want to beat on your deck, in which case, don't do the effect. It's, it's a may. You know, you don't have to. Exactly. Um, Armin, I feel like every card we've reviewed, you always say, card. Oh, it's a yellow card. And you consider that, like, a plus about the card. Yeah, it's true. I, I, I For I'm everything. Not... I'm not as big as a fan of the other colors, but <laughs> it's just you can't use that as a positive for every card. <laughs> just saying, yellow's oh, it's so a color. Good. Yellow's so good, Andy. You don't understand. But red has gate. Red does have gate, yeah. But yeah, no, I, I get what you're saying. But it is blue, though. I'm just saying. It's, blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important. <laughs> but yeah, Akatsuki's fine at like any point in the game. Let's you pitch if you need to throw something mm -hmm. away. It lets you pitch and mill in like that bad spot where like you're at you're at two and you're trying to like go to third deck and like you're flooded or whatever. You can like pitch a climax and mill card. Mm -hmm. So like a a Kotsky is always good, but I think it's important to mention too the I think one of the reasons to play Revue Starlight as a set is that two one that messes with your opponent's clock that level assist. Mm, yeah, you're right. Back card the uh, the Calrico back row, yeah, it is yellow, <laughs> and a Calrico. It, it's also a level assist, so okay. it, it competes so there, there's a, with this card for that slot. So even a, though this Juna is on its own, I just don't think you'd play it over the Calrico. You also have to pay okay. one to put it on the field, which I just realized right now. So you can't Akatsuki for free, which is a big thing that most Akatsukis do. If you play them, you get to do it for free. 
Yeah, uh, this yeah. is this is playable. This is, it's a playable card. I don't think it's bad. It does compete. Andy's right. It's like a C minus. I, th I think it's it's solidly playable. Uh, I, I mean, we haven't gotten to the other cards yet, but apparently apparently it's outclassed. But yeah, I think I think it's C. It's you know, if you really need a blue card, if you really want a Juno. All right, next. Yeah, it's a solid, a solid pick for your uh, your Juno waifu deck. Mm -hmm. All right, this is me, right? Stage of Fate, Claudine Saijo. When this card attacks, this gets X power till end of turn. X is equal to your number of other Revue characters times a thousand. It's a two one. It's a what? It's a eleven five max. Boring, boring card. It's blue, Andy. It's blue. It's boring. It's blue. <laughs> boring blue. Um, yeah, I don't, there's nothing much to say about this card. It's one soul. It's two one. It swings for big. This card's in every trial deck. Boring, bad, B. Yeah, it's a two, it's a two one that gets tagged, but yeah. yeah. Agreed. <laughs> Just hit it with the big next. How many how many more slides do we have? We're on uh, trial deck. Uh one more. We're on we're still on trial decks? Jesus. Alright, so this is the two nine This is the last trial deck card. So there you go, Andy. What what do you think about this card? Souls. <laughs> <laughs> And then combos with that other card. I think it's the same rank as the other card. When you use it with, uh, what's her name, Claudine, I think it's like you get to play it for free. Yeah, but by itself, that's it's a By itself, I guess it's like F, F yeah, minus. By, by itself, it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah F minus. F minus. Two, two. I don't think it's F. It's not garbage. It yeah, it's two blue. Soul. That's worth. I'll it. give it that's the D. 